have a feel or if not the feeling but at least some knowledge no, what transpired in those four days or five days or so of coming together of uh, practically among the there were uh, close to about 190 participants from the the country so lahat ng mga members ng uh, commission on clergy okay sa sa ating case we we were five you know excluding the bishop of course and so um masasalita ang tatlo sa amin mauna si Kabaya and then followed by Emin and then myself then after which Magkakaroon tayo ng parang ang tawag na namin doon ay um, facilitated conversation. Okay? So, ibig sabihin lang doon, yung nagsalita ang tatlo should be uh, dito sa doon pa, sa panel, panelist. No? And uh, si Father Rico ang magiging anchor person natin. You know? So, it's a sort of like, uh, well, open board basically. No? Kaya lang in a more informal setting, uh, you can throw us questions and if you can answer, we will do so. If we cannot, we will leave it at that. No? Okay, so uh, hopefully magigat tayo ng 11.50 because we will be praying the midday prayer and the Jinat Shelly so that we can have lunch at exactly what we need. Okay, so we don't want to do. Uh, brothers in the Christian hood, please welcome Father Jerry Gaila, the current rector of the Cathedral will give us a talk, the first talk of the first day. Yung pong tatlong araw na, ay apat na araw ng session. Bawat araw ay isang talk sa umaga. Actually, mga 30 minutes lang yung talk. Karamihan po ay conversation and reactions. Sa hapa kami mga workshops. So, inati namin tatlo sa tatlo, yung tatlong araw ako sa isang talk. At yung 30 minutes ay pa-exit pa namin ng 50. Kaya tingnan natin kung ano po. At least, uh, makuha lang po natin yung mga highlights lang, mga dapat i-bigyan uh, natin ng uh, emphasis. Yung first talk po ni Pado Duventus Lade, siya po ay dating uh, secretary ng uh, Commission of Clergy ng CPCB. Kaya uh, maraming uh, nalalaman po. Sa lahat ng araw ng mga talk, sa kanya po lahat, uh, siya po lahat ang resources speaker pa rin. Yung first day, ito ang uh, topic, Need for Ongoing Formation. Ito po ay nakamagig na rin ako uh, na tumaloy ng ating mga formators sa... Uh, Saan nga ito? Cebu? Cebu. Eh ngayon, bibigyan po natin ng konting lari at mga detalye po yung ating uh, uh, about our ongoing formation. At ito po ay uh, mahali sa aning na uh, mga bagan yung nature, necessity, importance, blocks, and dimensions, features of the ongoing formation. So, ito rin ko lang po, kasi 15 minutes lang tayo. Ang mga sources natin na pinagalingan ng lahat ng uh, about all this ongoing formation, makita nyo po sa screen, ang question sa Robert Ordinis, number 58-59, of Tata Pobius, chapter 7, uh, paragraph 21. Ang uh, major part po nito ay galing sa directory for the life and ministry of Christ. Yung lahat ng chapter 3 on the later part ay tungkol sa ongoing information. PCP2, Article 80, uh, Paragwal Palmi, tapos meron din sa Canada na binamit ko na 279. Pastores Double Movies and yung latest uh, radio, ang uh, tawag ko sa latest radio ay GPP, kaya yan ay Gift of Christy Vocation. Kung nga ito na po yun sa walang part, ang medyo na ongoing formation, it is an ongoing openness to the will of God, a conversion of the heart. Pag pinag-usapan ko na yung ongoing, ay patuloy na pagbubukas natin sa malawal ng Diyos. Patuloy na pagbubukas nito. It is a constant configuration to Christ. We were configured when we were ordained. At uh, since it is a dynamic uh, uh, product process ay patuloy. After the ordination, immediately, tuloy-tuloy, every day, we have to be configured with the Lord. And it is a constant progress. Ang um, purpose ng ongoing information ay para tayo ay to be more of Christ, the Lord. Mas maging kapapanong mga na. 
importance not of your information. Kaunaan, it is a duty of the priest. At ang bawat pari po ay may tumpuli na pag-update, pag, uh, upang pa sa ilalim sa ongoing information. And it is a right. So, hindi lang mas na duty. Ito ay isang karapatan. Bawat isang pari po, may karapatan tayong mag-update ng sarili natin. And uh, in a situation of our society, uh, every priest must be suitably prepared. Kaya lang makahalaga na tayo po ay meron mga updated or ongoing information because of the rapid and widespread transformations of a more secularized society. Iba-iba ang society ngayon, ikatulad ng panahon ni Father Dawis, na no, panahon ni Pusilya Jerry, panahon namin, ang panahon ng mga millennial priests natin ay totally different. So, yun mas yung updated. Yun po ang panahalaga na. And secondly, the necessity, para magkatumpa naman yung uh, importance and necessity. And I said before, because it is contained in the dynamism of the sacrament of holy orders. But in heaven, to the sacrament of the holy order, kung saan na-ordain ka, ay automatically, it is part of your coordination, no? sacrament of holy order, is the progress of uh, constant uh, new one. No? And because it is the right of the church. Pag sinabi po right of the church, karapatan ng simbahan na ma-organize para sa mga makarihan na sila'y mabigyan ng tamang pag-update. The church can, can, can claim for that right and the church will be the one to provide for that uh, ongoing information. It is also the right of the faithful. Napakahalaga na bigyan mo ng emphasis yung right of the faithful. Yung mga tao ang nakikinig sa atin, which we were serving them, ay nakahalap po sila na yung mga pari naman na medyo update na. Wow, nakakaalim na tao na sa parapya, pare pare sa pag sinasabi na. <laughs> so, napakahalaga na handa tayo to face all the challenges in the pari. So, people, the faithful, they have that claim. They have that right for the priest na nagbibigod sa kanila na magsabi naman ng medyo update. Diba, mamaya? Dapat alam din natin mga recent documents na nilalabas ng po. Misa na ako na pa sila sa atin. No? So, that's why it's necessary to let out your information. And let us take note, it's very important, sinabi ni Father Noel, the ultimate beneficiary of the ongoing formation is the faithful. Yeah, so, sana, tanda natin yan. At nakikinawa, pag tayo nag-outed, nag-video ba, ay talaga mga maratang palagayan po natin. Let's go to the next topic. Yung po, blocks. Ito po ay ginagawa sa assessment ng lahat ng mga nagkakaroon ng reviewal sa gallery. You know, the other form of uh, updating. Lagi po yan may assessment. And they discovered, they found out that merong commonalities sa assessment ng mga tinatanong para magkaroon ng updating program ng uh, ongoing formation. Ito po ay tinatawag ng mga attitudes. Tinatawag ng blocks dahil di trans sa mga pari, bakit ayaw mag, 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 magpa-undergo ng ongoing formation. No? Kaunahan po block ay itong attitude na ito. Heavy had enough attitude. Sabi, isang po ako na nag-aaral sa binamin. Tapos eh, ang dami ng mga librong binasa at lahat ng area of theology ay napag-aralan na I have had enough. Why do I have to undergo ongoing formation? Tama na yun. No? So, para sa atin ay okay na. Bakit pa ako mag-aralan na para maging pari, eh, pwede na maglitos sa sipahan. That's the first attitude. Kaya, after ordination, the tendency of the priest is not to update anyone. Kasi, alam na lahat eh. Uh, so, this is the first attitude na naging hindrang sa mga nag-ongo um, information. Second attitude ay, I do not think it attitude. Para ito mga attitude na mga parang feeling nila sila yung hell. <laughs> the feeling uh, superhuman that they don't need it anymore. No? Uh, hindi magkakamali or uh, dahil sila yung pare, sila yung hari, sila yung susundin. So, why do I have to update? Why do I have to undergo this uh, outdoor information? Isang napakalaking interest ko ito sa mga nag-access na outdoor information dahil maliit nilang sinasabi ito. But the worst of the attitudes ay itong personal. Yeah. 
Ayo nonton. Baik sih dong. Bisa baik dong nonton lagi langsung cek kalau mau makan dia dong. Although you you see that it, and you see the importance, and you feel you like it. Pero pag tinig na mo schedule mo sa Paris, pag tinig na mo yung mga one year program mo, sa sabi mo agad. Next time alam. I have no time for it. Biro ni Ipan ang Lourdes Lattes, sinabi niya na yung mga nasasabi doon ng ganito ay ito ang ibig sabihin the loss of my time in the Paris is also a loss of income which is so realistic, ano po? Tama, tama naman but anyway kaya yun lang natin yung importance and necessity para bigyan ng bigat ito so that all the attitudes and clubs ay mga malapasan. After this uh, topic, pasok tayo sa dimensions. For our understanding, the outgoing information, there are two dimensions. At uh, ang una po ay pinatawag na updating dimension. Ano po ito? Ito yung mga academic. Ito yung mga particular skills uh, na binibigay sa mga pare. Say, yung, yung update, pagkaroon ka ng uh, 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 post-graduate study on morality, on spirituality, philosophy. Ito yung ginagawa po ng mga pari natin na pinapadala natin ng Rolls or sa Manila to update ito po yung form of academic or intellectual or skills. Part po yan ang ongoing profession. But another one is they call it yan, hindi wal. Dalawang way pala yung ongoing profession. One is updating, and the other one is renewal. And when we talk about renewal, it, it takes the whole of the human, of the totality of the, the place. At dito papasok yung human profession, spiritual profession, intellectual, personal, etc. Uh, buong buong pagkatao, puso, isip, at kaluluwa na pari ay kasama sa renewal. So makakay po yung difference nitong uh, renewal ito sa updating. At uh, maaaring hindi lahat ay nakakailangan ng updating. But most of us and all of us give the renewal, the dimension, renewal dimension of the ongoing profession. And now I go to the last part. It did miss, uh, di ba? Uh, sorry. Uh, Opo, uh, para may miss, we have three speakers. So. Features of the ongoing profession, Uh, ito po yung parang proposed, proposed program ng uh, CPCP na ano yung dapat bigyan din sa ongoing information po natin. Kaalaman na po ay according in the mind of the heads of the, the Commission on Clergy, mas binibigyan din natin yung renewal-oriented uh, ongoing information than the updating-oriented uh, organization. Hey, sorry. Oh, ongoing information. Iba yan, tinakita natin ganyan yung difference ng dalawa. The, the setup or the, the ways of the CBCP uh, provisional clergy ay more on the new one of here than ongoing information. Second, uh, another feature of this uh, ongoing information is progressively systematic and uh, uh, periodic na hindi po isang buhusan lang na tapos na. Pero tayo isang one session, like we have the upload of video when we do the renewal, but after that, mabahala ka na. So it must be periodic, continuous. Every quarter, every semester, or annual, there will be a program for renewal for our ongoing information. Kaya systematic. Kaya nakaprogram dapat sa Commission of Clergy at Public Diocese yung the whole program for every stage of uh, organization. And second, and third, the other feature of this ongoing information is developmentally appropriate. Uh, Ibig po nito program na ito, gagawa ng programa para sa mga pari na appropriate for every level. For example, for the age level, mga junior, young, middle, and senior, may particular na formation para sa kanila. Pwede rin na po naman yung social situation of the diocese. For example, ang lahat ng mga taga District 4, District 3, may particular sila concerns, then there should be a program like that. No? De development.
directly appropriate. And the fourth one, feature of that uh, ongoing probation, I integral and balance. Hindi po nakatutok lang ang iba, yung ating every month uh, assembly, hindi po yung scriptual na ang bigyan pansin. Dapat, balance. Misal, may human probation tayo pinag-aaralan, intellectual din, misal mag-update tayo, moral, on moral uh, updates, spiritual, theology, philosophy, so, binibigyan pa simula para maging balance yung ating pagka-update. And finally, uh, it is very important to note that in every ongoing probation, we have to consider the community we live in. In our parish, in our presbyterium, the ongoing probation will be more efficient kapag ito ay ginagawa in the context of the community, of our presbyterium, of our parish community, and also included or let me update it, the summary for when we talk about renewal, our own family. So, after this, all the six uh, stages of uh, the talk, ang sumulod na pulot ay conclusion. Pinigay lang ang conclusion ni Father Noel. Mas lahat ay yung yung Bible uh, text from the letter of St. Paul to Timothy, first letter, chapter 4, verses 14 to 15. Eh, nilagay ko lang po yung, yung highlight ng, ng text. But you can read the whole of that passage. Do not neglect the gift you have. Yung makataas po ng Bible quotation, ito na reflection, nagkaroon na po ng question and answer. So, I would like to pass uh, the second uh, part para kayo pa-attention po. Uh, meron tayo po.